at Planet Granite in the Pearl. It's all about that next step. You ready? Rock climbing is just as much a mental sport as it is a physical one. And you feel so accomplished when you climb. And in the corner of the gym, you want to climb something? A group of climbers gets ready to head to the top each with their own story. I think for me, climbing and, and sport in general is just being a very powerful thing in my own life uh, as uh, an amputee. About a year ago, John Lewis helped start the group. At the age of 15, he lost his leg when a tractor drove over him. Now uses a custom prosthetic to climb. I think it's been a learning experience. Um, luckily, I was quite young. It's quite easy to adapt to things when you're young. The group has a wide range of members. Take, for example, Eric Davidson, in 2008, he was hit by a truck while riding his bike in Northeast and suffered a traumatic brain injury. And now he's doing like laps and laps on his projects. And when he touches ground, that sense of pride shines bright. Yeah, you gotta get some shot. 27-year-old Kevin Cardoza says almost immediately he felt like family. Because it's really great to climb with people that are like you. Like, obviously, we're not exactly like each other. We all have different situations. Six years ago, he crashed his motorcycle in Los Angeles, spent three weeks in a coma, and woke up with a paralyzed left arm. I dealt with that, or I lived with that for about a year before I decided that it would be, I'd be better off without the arm. He uses his legs to push him up and his hips to hold him close to the wall. He's not perfect, but doesn't give up. That's called barn dooring. There is sometimes this really crazy and intense moment of weightlessness. It's really cool. Like, and I'm like right at that halfway point in the air, not holding on. And it's just like, I have nothing pulling me back down. It's a cool feeling. And with one final stretch, he reaches the top. Ah. A sense of accomplishment. Come on, I did it. This past summer, the group went out for a completely different experience and climbed Smith Rock. In the beginning, this group started out with just two or three, has now grown to about 15 climbers. Now in that last spot where you saw him reach towards the top, um, I was with him, I had a GoPro with me. So the only way to get up there with a GoPro is to climb one-handed yourself. Let me tell you, it's not easy. It's so hard. You yeah. really got to appreciate how yeah. hard Really, it is. yeah. And you, and you feel the strain, even though he says it's lower body, but you still feel the strain on uh, even just the upper body too of trying to hold yourself there. Impressive. So yeah. How'd you do? Oh. You did okay, right? Well, I I was able to rest while you know while you know, <laughs> but yeah, no, it was, it was fun. Devin, thank you. Man. Yeah.